Carlo Rosselli, the 16th of November 1899 to the 9th of June 1937, was an Italian political leader, journalist, historian and anti-fascist activist, first in Italy and then abroad. He developed a theory of reformist, non-Marxist socialism inspired by the British labor movement that he described as liberal socialism. Rosselli founded the anti-fascist militant movement Giustizia e Liberta. Rosselli personally took part in combat in the Spanish Civil War where he served on the Republican side. Life Birth, war and studies Rosselli was born in Rome to a wealthy Tuscan Jewish family. His mother, Emilia Pincherel Rosselli, had been active in republican politics and thought and had participated in the unification of Italy. She was also a playwright and children's book author. In 1903 he was taken to Florence with his mother and siblings. During the First World War he joined the Italian armed forces and fought in the Alpine campaign, rising to the rank of second lieutenant. After the war, thanks to his brother Nello, he studied in Florence with Gaetano Salvmini, who was to be from then a constant companion of both the Rosselli brothers. It was in this period that he became a socialist, sympathetic to the reformist ideas of Filippo Tarati, in contrast to that revolutionary thinking of Giacinto Minotti Serrati. In 1921 he graduated with a degree in political sciences from the University of Florence with a thesis titled, Syndicalismo. Syndicalism. Later he undertook a law degree that he would pursue in Turin and Milan, where he met Luigi Inaudi and Piero Gobetti. He graduated in 1923 from the University of Siena. For some weeks he visited London where he studied the workings of the British Labour Party, the English Labour Movement would deeply influence him. The rise of fascism An active supporter of the Unitary Socialist Party of Tarati, Matteo T. and Treves, he began writing for Critica Sociale, a review edited by Tarati. After the murder of Matteo T., Rosselli pushed for a more active opposition to fascism. With the help of Ernesto Rossi and Gaetano Salvmini he founded the clandestine publication Non Maler, Don't Give Up. During the following months, fascist violence towards the left became increasingly severe. Ernesto Rossi left the country for France, followed by Salvmini. In 15 February 1926 fellow activist Piero Gobetti died as an exile in Paris for the consequences of a fascist aggression happened in Turin the year before. Still in Italy, Rosselli and Pietro Neni founded the review, Quarto Stato, which was banned after a few months. Later in 1926, he organized with Sandro Pertini and Ferruccio Pari the escape of Tarati to France. While Pertini followed Tarati to France, Pari and Rosselli were captured and convicted for their roles in Tarati's escape and sentenced to a period of confinement on the island of Lipari 1927. It is then that Rosselli began to write his most famous work, Liberal Socialism. In July 1929 he escaped to Tunisia, from where he travelled to France, and the community of Italian antifascists including Emilio Lussu and Francesco Fausto Nitti. Nitti later portrayed Rosselli's adventurous escape in the book La Nostra Prigione e la Nostra Evasione Our Prisons and Our Escape in an Italian edition in 1946 the 1929 English first edition was titled Escape. <laughs> <laughs> Exile in Paris, Giustizia e Liberta In 1929, with Lusu, Nitti, and a Parisian circle of refugees which had formed around Salvmini, Rosselli helped found the anti-fascist movement, Giustizia e Liberta. GL various numbers of the review and the notebooks homonymi with Cadence Weekly magazine and salary and was active in the organization of various spectacular actions, notable among which was the flight over Milan of Bassanese 1930. In 1930 he published, in French, Socialisme libéral. The book was at once a passionate critique of Marxism, a creative synthesis of the democratic socialist revisionism Bernstein, Tarati and Treves, and of classical Italian liberalism Benedetto Croce, Francisco Saverio Merlino and Gaetano Salvmini. But it contained also a shattering attack on the Stalinism of the Third International, which had, with the derisive formula of social fascism, lumped together social democracy, bourgeois liberalism and fascism. 
It was not surprising, therefore, when one of the most important Italian communists, Tagliati, defined liberal socialism, libelous anti socialism, and Rosselli, a reactionary ideologue who has nothing to do with the working class. Giustizia e Liberta joined the Concentrazione Antifascista Italiana the Italian Antifascist Concentration, a union of all the non-communist antifascist forces Republican, Socialist, Nationalist trying to promote and to coordinate expatriate actions to fight fascism in Italy. They also first published the Giustizia e Liberta journals. After the advent of Nazism in Germany 1933, the paper began to call for insurgency, revolutionary action, and military action in order to stop the Italian and German regimes before they plunge Europe into a tragic war. Spain, they wrote, seems the destiny of all fascist states. The Spanish Civil War In July 1936 the Spanish Civil War erupted as the fascist monarchical-led army attempted a coup d'état against the Republican government of the Popular Front. Rosselli helped lead the Italian anti-fascist supporters of the Republican forces, criticizing the neutrality policy of France and Britain, especially as Italy and Germany sent arms and troops in support of the rebels. In August, Rosselli and the GL organized its own brigades of volunteers to support the Spanish Republic. With Camillo Berneri, Rosselli headed the Matteotti Battalion, a mixed volunteer unit of anarchist, liberal, socialist and communist Italians. The unit was sent to the Aragon Front, and participated in a victory against Francoist forces in the Battle of Monte Pilato. Speaking on Barcelona radio in November, Rosselli made famous the slogan, Agi in Spagna, domani in Italia. Today in Spain, tomorrow in Italy. After falling ill, Rosselli was sent back to Paris, from where he led support for the anti-fascist cause, and proposed an even broader popular front while still remaining critical of the Communist Party of Spain and the Soviet government of Joseph Stalin. In 1937, Berneri was killed by communist forces during a purge of anarchists in Barcelona. With the fall of the Spanish Republic in 1939, Justizia e Liberta partisans were forced to flee back to France. Topic. Murder In June 1937 Carlo Rosselli and his brother visited the French resort town of Bagnols de Lon. On 9 June the two were killed by a group of «cagoulards», militants of the «cagoule», a French fascist group. The two brothers were buried in the Perlachaise Cemetery in Paris but in the 1951 the family moved them to Italy, into the monumental cemetery of Trespiano, a frazione of Florence. His wife Marion Cave Roselli, their three children, John, Amelia, and Andrea, and his mother Amelia Pincherol Roselli survived him. Thought Carlo Roselli only published a single book liberal socialism in his life. This work marked Rosselli out as a heretic in the Italian left of his time for which Karl Marx's Das Kapital, variously interpreted, was still the Bible. Undoubtedly the influence of the British labour movement, which he knew well, is visible. As a result of the electoral successes of the Labour Party, Rosselli was convinced that the «norms» of liberal democracy were essential, not only in building socialism, but also for its concrete realisation. This stands in contrast to Leninist tactics, in which these rules, once power is taken, must be set aside. This Roselian synthesis is that parliamentary liberalism is the method, socialism is the aim. The Marxist-Leninist idea of revolution founded on the dictatorship of the proletariat, which he felt, as in the Russian case, was synonymous with the dictatorship of a single party, he rejected in favor of a revolution that, as famously put in the GL program, is a coherent system of structural reforms aimed at the construction of a socialism, that does not limit, but indeed exalts, freedom of personality and of association. Writing in his final years, Rosselli became more radical in his libertarian positions, defending the social organization of the CNTFAI he had seen in anarchist Catalonia and Barcelona during the Civil War, and informed by the rise of Nazi Germany. References Topic. Works 
Carlo Rosselli, Liberal Socialism. Edited by Nadia Urbanati. Translated by William McQuagg, Princeton, Princeton University Press, 1994. Topic: Sources. Italian Wikipedia article. Pugliese, Stanislao G. July 1997. Death in Exile: The Assassination of Carlo Rosselli. Journal of Contemporary History. 32 3, 305 to 319. Doi 10.1177/0022009497032003002. Tranfalia, Nicola. 1968. Carlo Rosselli, Dall'interventismo a giustizia e libertà. Bari, La Terza. Pugliese, Stanislao G. 1999, Carlo Rosselli, Socialist Heretic and Anti-Fascist Exile, Harvard University Press, ISBN 0-674-00053-6 Italian Life Under Fascism, Opposition to Fascism External links In Italian Carlo Rosselli e l'altro socialismo. Links and timeline. In Italian, biography of Rosselli. In Italian, biography, information and other links on Giustizia e Liberta and Carlo Rosselli.